Welcome back to the farmer was replaced. Last time we tried to put all our code into one single code. So we have one program to run. And I actually did let this run for a while. It works beautifully and I stocked up on some materials. So I put the grass, wood and carrot cap a little higher to 10,000 already. Today what I want to do is take a look at trees were way over the requirements to unlock them and I think they're quite interesting a more interesting way to get wood so maybe unlock we want to unlock them trees are a better way to get wood than bushes they give five wood each like bushes they can be planted on grass or soil we're planting them on grass just because trees like to have some space and planting them right next to each other will slow their, down their growth the growing time is doubled for each tree that is on a tile directly to the north, east, west or south of it. So if you plant trees on every tile, they will take 2 times 2 times 2, like 16 times longer to grow. This seems like a spoiler, I'm not gonna be spoiled by that. Um, directly to the north, east, west or south. So like if we plant a tree here, these four are gonna have the penalty. Let's think about that for a while. We have the... I'm not sure if it was functions... Where where did we get that... Uh, was it census? Like that we can see which tile it is. Get position, yeah. I think we wanna use those. Because what I am thinking. Uh, get position X. So if we plant a tree here, those can't be uh, planted too. But here we could plant another one. If we plant here and here, those are not available. Then we can plant here. And it, then those are not. So we can make like a checkerboard. Like here, 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 here. Like we can plant every second tile. The thing is, we're starting here with zero, zero, I think, and then zero, one. No. One, uh, zero, zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, and then this should be zero, one. And this is one, one, two, two, three, three. So we can read get position x and y to decide if the number is even or uneven I think and then we can plant a tree on all even tiles like zero zero and here we don't want to plant a tree but here's a two two so we want to plant a tree here same goes with two zero we want to plant a tree we don't want to plant a tree on one and two etc so let's try to build the code like that How do we implement this in here? If our wood cap is not... Oh, let's, let's see. This is not gonna be easy. Maybe we wanna actually define a function to check if it's a tile we wanna plant the tree on. So, let's see. Um, I think we define a function, if I remember correctly, with def. Um, let's call it good for good for tree. And we want to check that. And we want to get... Do we want to get something? We, we could get x and y, but like... Yeah, we can just take it... And we want to define x is get pos x and y, the y position is get position y. And now we want to check if those are even or uneven. So, um, how do we do that? Is it possible that we can... 
Oh, we do have modulo. So if we do modulo 2, and if modulo is like what, um, if you divide a number, and we're dividing uh, with 2, if there's a rest, like if it's not possible to divide it completely, if we were like dividing 5 modulo 2, then this is like, if we would just divide it, it would, would equal 2, and we would have some some rest and so this would be one so we know if there's a one left if we divide by two and one is left then we know the number is uneven so we can try um, if x modulo two equals zero um, then we want to return Oh, and zero, and y modulo two equals zero. This is not written nicely, I'm sorry. Let's see. Then we want to return true. I hope this is how the functions work here. We need to do this. Okay. Now, if we need, so we don't want to uh, plant bushes. We want to plant trees. And so we're now not only checking if we need wood, we're also checking if um, if the place is good for good for tree exactly so we want to check that so if we were low on wood and both x and y are an even number then we want to plant a tree so um, there's one missing too Let's see, maybe we need to put the wood cap a little higher. Let's say 12k. And we're gonna try that. Yeah, you see, so we're, we're in need for a tree and it's planting. Now we have another problem. We're only planting, maybe this is not the perfect place. Let's, let's analyze this. We're planting on one one uh, on zero zero. That's perfect. We also want to plant here. Why are we not planting here? This is number one one. So we own we also want to plant. Let's see. No, this is zero one, and this is zero. Let's see one two three. This is zero three. Oh, we also want to plant here. Let's try it with, we only want to plant on uneven, but like, let's, let's try this and see how this looks. Now we're planting trees. Okay, this is also not what we want. We also want to plant here. This would mean one, two, so two, and one, two, so two, two. So what we're writing here works. So these trees will get us a quite big amount of wood. So we could just leave it like that. But we we really want to have that chakra pet. So let's try to get that. Let's see what happens if we put an ore here. So if one is uneven or the other is uneven. The thing is here is like here it's not gonna plant because both are even. Here it's gonna plant, here it's gonna plant, here it's not gonna plant. This could work, let's see. Now, this is not what we want, we want to. So, now it, it did plant here and it's planting here. So this is growing really slow as you can see. And that's because it's one one, so. Because both 
So we have to check if both are, uh, are even two. So this is not the best way to do this, by the way. Um, we could also do, I, I'm not sure if this works. No, let's, let's just check if both numbers are even. Let's see, this one, one, two, two. It's not because, no. yeah, if both are uneven, if not, if not both are even. So let's copy this. Then we want to return true. Else, else, you wanna, and you don't have to do that, but I like to do it just so it's a little cleaner. Um, else, we wanna return false. I'm not sure if this is needed, I don't think so. <laughs> return false. So now we're missing some tables and spaces should not be mixed. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Now we have kind of the same thing. So this is not working. If could just do this so let's see if that works yeah so what we're doing here is we're checking if um, one of both is uh, uneven we have those special things with one one and three three we don't want to plant there so we we're checking um, if both are uneven and if this, this is the case like here 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 and here Then we want to return false, but if it's not the special case um, Then we want to return true and if there's not even an uneven number then we want to return false directly So This works for farming wood and as you can see the trees are growing really fast by the way, I also adjusted the watering level a little bit. Um, and we still have way more water than we need, so that's good. And it seems like... Yeah, now we're, we changed to farming wheat for because that's the second thing we really need. And we... Like, the only thing we would really need is wood. What we already have planted every place we want to have a tree. So we're just planting grass there or hay um, what we could do is if this fails if this fails here or here um, we still need we still need um, we still need wood so there would be the possibility to just place bushes here to get like an insane amount of wood I want to I want to do that. So, if the number if this is false, it's just going to jump here. Um So, how can we make that if this fails? Maybe we want to instead of an end here, we want to put this on a new line with an if. So, I'm using a lot of if sentences here, but that's okay. We should also really write, um, really write a function for this, but I'm too lazy to do that. So, if we're low in wood, we want to check if it's good for a tree. If it's not good for a tree, then we want to plant. Um, let's see. So if we may, then we want to we want to first check if the tree is like 
the one we need. And then if it's good for a tree, we wanna plant the tree. And if it's not good for a tree, we wanna plant and it is bush. We wanna plant the bush. Let's see if that works. Still low on on wood. So now it's planting the trees in the bushes, so the trees are not close. And yeah. So that re that works great. Um What I'm still uh, thinking about is why no this this works why there's always this little grass like let's see like it yeah there's always this little grass but I think it's just wishful if nothing's there there's gonna be grass that's growing I think that's the case if I'm wrong, write it in the comments, please, so I can try to fix that. Other than that, this works great. We have now an efficient way to gather wood with the trees. Next time, I want to try to unlock the pumpkins, so we can unlock all those things. The import function I'm really excited about, so we can write functions in a separate window and can import them here. Um, I think that's how it works. But we can't unlock it yet, because we don't have pumpkins. Um, this stuff is gonna be for another time, so let's see. But like the pumpkins, I would be really... There's a lot of stuff we need pumpkins for, so we're gonna do that next time. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe if you liked the video. And we're gonna see each other next time.